video I'm going to explain to you the Selenium web driver installation process. So if you go to this blog you will find this uh, Selenium web driver setting up project and installation link just click on that and you will open this will open this page where you can find uh, the entire Selenium installation process. So to run the Selenium tests uh, you will need the uh, bindings in different different languages same because Selenium supports uh, programming in uh, many languages like Java, C Sharp, Ruby, Python, JavaScript. So, depending upon uh, which language you want to write your uh, scripts, you can uh, choose an editor for that. For example, for Java, you can uh, choose Eclipse or IntelliShape. For C Sharp, you can choose Microsoft Visual Studio. And similarly, for Ruby, Python, you can choose whatever uh, editor of your choice. After that, next step is that uh, you need Selenium API. So if you go to the downloads, uh, seleniumhq.org slash download, you will find the uh, files that you have to download. So, uh, so first file that is important is Selenium uh, bindings. So here you can download that and there are different uh, bindings actually depending on the language so if you want to download java bindings you can click on this link if you want to download c sharp uh, bindings you can click on this link and so on so first thing is you need that uh, binding selenium api so after that uh, <coughs> you will need a web driver for internet explorer driver server actually and for the chrome as well you will need a driver server that, that is actually the exe file or the it acts as the proxy server to which uh, your binding send the commands http commands and then those commands are executed by the uh, driver and finally you need eclipse java id or any intellij uh, intellij id if you are uh, coding in the java language so once you have got all these uh, things uh, with you next step is that uh, setting up the project in your editor so I'm gonna explain you how you can do that in IntelliJ so if you go to the IntelliJ you can uh, create a Maven project because that's a standard project can create from a Maven so if you go to the file and then you can create a, a new project and then click on Maven project so here on the left hand side you will find gradle maven project so from the maven you can select that one and then uh, create it from the archetype standard archetype you can choose from here like this one this is very uh, basic quick start uh, maven project template or the arch architecture type and then you click on next after you uh, do uh, this follow this wizard a uh, project will be created in IntelliJ and then uh, in any uh, all the maven projects you have pom.xml file just go open that pom.xml file and then you will find this xml tags over there so you have to add the dependency over here and the dependency uh, name is this one this is the selenium dependency selenium with the group id org.seleniumhq.selenium and uh, artifact id is selenium uh, dash java so and the version is 2.49 but latest version is uh, 2.52 if you go to the download section you will find that latest selenium version is 2.52 so you can also download it from here so depending upon which language you have chosen you can uh, download that particular selenium api library okay so after you uh, come uh, here you can just uh, give that dependency over there in the dependency section in pom file so once you do that uh, and you compile your project by going to the maven if you go to the tools windows and then there you will find maven projects just click on that and here you can just click on this uh, button uh, which re-imports all maven projects and it also downloads this uh, dependency libraries for the selenium so in the left hand side in the project window you will find external libraries section here that file should be downloaded for example you have got that uh, file over here so all these uh, jar files have been downloaded b um, since we have added this dependency so maven uh, will do that for you automatically you don't need to do anything
you just add this dependency and this uh, dependency libraries will be added automatically so once you are done with that you just uh, go to the uh, source directory so each maven project has got this uh, directory source ma main java where your main code uh, resides and uh, test uh, folder uh, contains all the tests that you can write so you can go here and then create the tests so here create any package and then uh, create new class by just right clicking on the package you can create new class like that and you have to write this code so I'm gonna write a simple Firefox code over here so for that I'm gonna create one package say Firefox and package name should be in the small letter so I'm gonna change this one now So remember that package names are always in small letters in Java. That is a standard convention. And you have to add a new Java class. Say Firefox class name has to be capital letter. Firefox tests. Then click on OK. And then you can <coughs> create public static void main or you can also uh, if you know the j in it you can use that uh, add test annotation and then create that method so for the simplicity I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna create simple main method and then I'm gonna create Firefox driver so I'm gonna launch Firefox for you Firefox driver and launching Firefox driver is the simplest thing that you can do with Selenium you don't need any other uh, driver server because that uh, driver server is inbuilt in the Firefox and you don't need to do, uh, do that but for uh, Selenium uh, that Chrome and Internet Explorer you need to download that uh, driver but here you don't need that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just open one site that is www.softpost.org and then just close that driver and then quit so you don't need to do anything you just type the variable name and then methods will auto populate so I'm go just gonna run this particular program by to run this program in the, uh, this one control shift F10 that is the shortcut key or you can also uh, right click and then click on the run test like this run Firefox so it should launch the Firefox for us and then it should navigate to this website as well so it is downloading that particular it's uh, traveling navigating to that particular website that we have given and then it will close the browser so this is the simplest program that I could uh, write for the Firefox driver so process is very simple installation process in uh, IntelliJ and uh, Selenium so this is for the Firefox if you want to try the Chrome you need uh, one thing here for the Chrome you need to download that uh, Chrome driver server as you can see I have downloaded here this exe file and that you need to download from this uh, website Selenium standard uh, official website you can find that uh, links to download the uh, Chrome driver so if you go scroll down you will find this Chrome uh, driver over here just click on the download button and then you can download that similarly you have got Microsoft Edge driver over here and you have also uh, got these links to download the Internet Explorer driver so once you download those uh, particular uh, exe files these are actually the servers and uh, you have to f for launching this 
chrome driver you have to give this set this property web driver dot chrome dot driver and then give the path of that particular exe file that you downloaded and then uh, you have to use this simple uh, syntax driver web driver is equal to new chrome driver and then rest of the program is same and uh, similarly for the internet explorer uh, installation it is uh, the same process instead of uh, chrome driver you have to download that internet explorer driver and then you have to start internet explorer driver instead of chrome driver so if you come here driver is equal to new internet explorer driver like that so that's how you can uh, is download install uh, the selenium or run the selenium tests in IntelliJ or uh, the process is uh, similar in other editors as well so if you like this video hit like button thank you